Democrats plunge their rhetorical knives into the Clintons. Hillary Clinton is looking further afield to explain the collapse of her family's political dynasty. On Saturday, Hillary claimed her husband would never have become president if that dastardly Fox News has existed back in 1992. Watch. Unfortunately, our body politics immune system has been impaired because there has been a concerted effort starting with the creation of the Fox network. Uh, it wasn't there when Bill first ran. It was one of the reasons he probably survived. They're delivering partisan advocacy positions, irrespective of the truth, the facts, the evidence. It's a germ in the body politics like Ebola. Mark Stein is another person who might have derailed the Clintons back in 92. Lucky for them, he was still writing about the arts at the time. <laughs> he joins us now. I mean, what do you, what do you, I, I hate to agree with Mika Brzezinski, but maybe she was onto something when she said that Mrs. Clinton, Secretary Clinton should, you know, stop talking about the stuff. I think so. This is this was their 25th anniversary gala of the great Clinton victory of 1992. And there were the two of them there with uh, James Carville. And you got to bet that there were a lot of big shot Democrats uh, who were invited to that who are no shows. That's I mean, right. to go back to go back to what Tammy was was talking about. The, the Democrats uh, are like this on everything. You know, they didn't care. They weren't worried about the Russians during the Cold War. 25 years after it ends, they're worried about the Russians. They weren't worried about Bill Clinton's behavior when he was in the White House. 25 years later, uh, the senators are now saying, oh, yes, he should have resigned over Monica Lewinsky. The New York Times uh, ran a piece a couple of days ago called I Believe Juanita. Well, you know, I, I wrote my I Believe Juanita piece uh, in, I'm, trying, I'm going to remember the exact date, February 25th, 1999, in the National Post of Canada. So I was, I was right 18 and a half years ago when it mattered. And as Tammy said, uh, they all knew uh, that uh, what Bill Clinton was doing, and it didn't matter. They trashed those women. There were all kinds of women. He liked all kinds of women. He liked young women, old women, svelte women, full-figured women, all kinds of women. And no matter what, he liked um, upper-middle-class women. He liked women from trailer park. He liked women generally. And no matter what kind of woman he trashed, uh, the Democrats piled on in destroying all those women. Yeah, I noticed it vividly. So what do you make of Hillary Clinton saying out loud, if Bill Clinton had been covered by a real news organization, Fox News, mm. he never would have been president? That's not really an attack on Fox News. It seems more like a compliment to me. Yeah, because a couple of minutes after that, they admitted that, in a sense, they faked his victory in New Hampshire. He lost the New Hampshire oh, I primary. To Paul Songus. Uh, to Paul Songus, who no one remembers now. Uh, but yeah. he, he stood on stage and declared himself the comeback kid. And at that time, ABC, CBS, NBC, and CNN, which is all there was, yeah. went along with the comeback kid uh, narrative. Just as when all the sex stuff came up, uh, they went along with the old news, nothing to see here, time to move on narrative. Uh, and had Fox News been around, I've no doubt I can imagine Sean uh, Hannity doing one of his opening uh, monologues, uh, pointing out that, in fact, Paul Songus was the winner in New Hampshire, and, and it uh, was nothing to do with Bill Clinton and his comeback kid. I mean, that... But uh, it would have been a very different environment for them. But was, should she admit that, that the only reason he won is because the press was tame and obedient and refused to cover the actual news? I mean, that's what she's saying. That, that's what they want, Tucker. I, I mean, don't forget, I mean, what is it that Bill Clinton, why are we in a mess now? Why shouldn't, I mean, look at it this way, why shouldn't Al Franken grope a woman? It's because the media told us it doesn't matter being a pig. Uh, character doesn't matter. Uh, the fact that Clinton uh, was a successful president meant anything he did in his private life was irrelevant. And the Democrats told us back then in the 90s, everybody does it. And now, as the opening of your show uh, has pointed out, everybody does do it. They do it in Hollywood. They do it in Minnesota. They do it in the halls of Congress. They've got 
respected PBS anchors walking around naked in front of female, and I don't mean Big Bird, uh, other ones walking around naked in front of female staffers. It's, uh, 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 where did that come from? Every, everybody didn't do it until Bill Clinton re-established Droit du Seigneur on an industrial scale. <laughs> Mark Stein, like nobody else. Thank you, Mark. Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The national conflagration over sexual misconduct has burned another career up in smoke. Charlie Rose, been around for years on television, hosts shows on PBS and the morning show on CBS, has been suspended by both broadcasters tonight after eight women have accused him of groping, lewd phone calls, and other forms of harassment. Meanwhile, Senator Al Franken is facing additional accusations tonight. A woman called Lindsay Menz claims Franken groped her while taking a photograph at a state fair. Menz recently tweeted this, quote, In August 2010, Al Franken grabbed me while taking a picture together at the Minnesota State Fair. I felt violated and embarrassed. But Franken and Rose are not alone. More and more liberal women are sticking knives into the Clintons. Even MSNBC morning host Mika Brzezinski recently attacked Hillary Clinton, while California Congresswoman Jackie Speer took a shot at her husband, Bill. Watch. Hillary Clinton needs to stop. She needs to stop talking about this topic unless Bill Clinton wants to come forward and apologize for being a sexual harasser, for settling with women. Some Democrats and liberals have argued that a reevaluation of Bill Clinton's presidency is required. Uh, what do you think about that? I think that the victims who came forward uh, were not treated as they should have been. They should have been believed because, as I pointed out, most people who come forward are telling the truth. Democrats notably more eager to attack a former president than a sitting U.S. senator whose vote they need, but still an amazing development. Tammy Bruce is a radio show host. She joins us tonight, as she often does, to sort it out. Tammy, what do you make of all this? Well, they're a little late, aren't they? You know, talking yeah. about the Clintons at this point is like bringing out last year's turkey on Thursday. People are going to look at you and say, what? Are you, what? It's old. Right. It's bad. So this is what, look, it's, it's absurd. I'm waiting for, for Congress to set up a committee to investigate Ted Kennedy and whether or not it's okay to leave a woman to drown in the bottom of a lake, because boy, that's really bad too. All of these people, here's what they realize, and this is what makes it so dangerous. They know that saying nothing before was wrong. They know that the women before, originally when this happened, that they were right. And now they understandably, I mean, they've enjoyed have, being the, our moral superiors, and now they can't do it. And it is a bizarre, desperate effort to really rewrite history. It's like, well, you know, boy, that sure was awful. Most of us at the time knew it was awful. They're the only ones who are saying it wasn't or defending him. Everybody else in the country knew it, and somehow they didn't. So it's insulting, but it's also dangerous, because by doing this, Tucker, they're admitting that they knew it was wrong at the time, and they chose to do the wrong thing, and they don't care, and now they just simply want to redo it so that they can continue to attack Republicans, frankly. That's right. NBC News refused to air allegations of rape against Bill Clinton because I guess we didn't know it was wrong then. I guess what's exactly. striking, though, you hear people say, well, both sides do it, and, and I think to some extent that's true. H human sin is a human problem. But it does seem disproportionately clustered on the side that claim to be allies of women. I mean, there is a kind of weird hypocrisy here where some of the people who tell you the most loudly about their feminism are the ones doing these things. Have you noticed that? Right. It's not really about hypocrisy. Look, this is clearly a problem of power. It's not a problem of sex or attraction right. or desire, right? But interestingly, the people that have been crowing about, I'm your champion, I'm going to be defending you, I am the person you can rely on, almost as though it's, it's, it's a method in which to get closer to victims. It's that we would joke at now, with the men that would show up at some of our rallies, we would say, well, maybe they're just there because they maybe know it'll be easier to get a date. Or the men who are supportive and very aggressively supportive about abortion, that it's a nature of who it is you're going to be associating with. And the presumption that if you're, if you're saying you're a champion for women, the doors will be unlocked faster. Women will not be necessarily concerned or afraid of you, and it gives you an open door. This is what I think makes it dangerously different when it comes to liberal men, well, like Glenn Thrush and others who have been these male feminists. Suddenly we find they're the victimizers, they're the, the attackers, if you will. And you have to wonder, is it because they felt that they, could, they would be around a group of women 
who would effectively be too ashamed, too frightened, uh, too scared, especially scared to say something because it was their own group. And it was men that were told like Harvey Weinstein or, or a, a, a Charlie Rose or anyone else that, well, we need them. Uh, I was told when I was in now on the issue of Ted Kennedy and Bill Clinton, yes, they're pigs, but there are pigs, Tammy. Uh, that was not good enough for me. No, uh, it shouldn't and, be. And the women complaining right now about uh, 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 and going after Clinton, whether it, Feinstein or, or Barbara Boxer or others who were, uh, uh, you know, in the beginning of the from the year of the woman, 1992, when they all got swept into the Senate. One of the first things they did was defend Ted Kennedy when he was under fire uh, in, I believe it was 93. So from the beginning, it's been a fraud, Tucker. It's been a fraud for the women who've enabled it and a fraud for the men who've used it to gain access to women. Well, you've seen it from the inside, so you can speak to that with great authority. I remember getting into a yelling match over Ted Kennedy when he died. He's a complicated guy with some good qualities. He liked dogs, for example, but he did kill a woman. And that you're not allowed to point that out. I remember that very well. So where does this quickly, where does this leave us when the smoke clears and the last harasser has been forced out of his job? Does it change the way the left approaches feminism? Well, remember, we're also talking not just about someone who says something that's rude or compliments a woman as she walks down the hallway. We are now talking about assault. And this is very different, but we tend to be now conflating a little bit the difference between a, a man who is complimenting a woman uh, versus a man who is physically assaulting women. Right. We're going to have to sort those things out. And at this point, it really, uh, really, Tucker, it's just common sense. And, and, and what the, these uh, liberal men are doing is clearly an affront to what all of us already knew was wrong in the first place. Right. No, I think that's, that's right. A lot of it is common sense. Yeah. Exactly. And we sort of knew it all along. Tammy, right. thank you very much, as Thanks, always. Thanks, Tucker.